Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and here's a little trick. If you have an item that's all grouped together and you want to select some of the items, you can take your pick tool and hold down the control button before you pick that, and you you actually get a different node. You get round nodes versus square nodes on the handles. So we're gonna, and I've done a video on this before, but I've never done one. If you hold down the control and the shift, the shift acts like, I want that one too, I want that one too, I want that one too, I want that one too. They are still in the group, but you could change the colors. And they're still a group, so you haven't messed anything up. It's in this particular case, it's not that big a deal because uh, you could just ungroup them and change those colors. But if there were a lot of items and you didn't really want to mess anything up, you wanted it to stay in a group. You can see this is a group of 94 objects. And what I meant by the shift key, the shift key acts like that anyway. If you hold down the shift, you select those three items. But if you hold down the control key, you can change that item to one item. You can move that item. And then it's really still in a group. If you look, it's still in the group. So we'll put that back, holding down the control, and then hold down the shift. And you can select all those items and make them whatever color you want or change the shape or uh, take away the fill and make just an outline or whatever you want to do until you press away and then they're still in the group. You haven't messed anything up. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.